أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نوال الأربعين نوال الاعتكاف نوال الخلوة نوال العزلة نوال الرياضة نوال السلوك نوال الصيام الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد الذي أولي الله عين ونبعون الله وكون عونا لنا بالعسى نحظى بفضل الله اللهم نعوذ بك أن نشرك بك شيئا ونحن نعلم ونستغفرك لما لا نعلم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله Since it is the month of Quran we will do some uh, tafsir based on tafsir ibn Kathir, mukhtasar yani tafsir, a summary tafsir of juz amma. But before we do that, some important information about juz amma. Most of us recite in our prayers from juz amma. Majority of Muslims, they have memorized juz amma or some surahs from juz amma. It is the last juz, the last chapter. 30th chapter. Most of its surahs are Makkiyya, means they were revealed in Mecca in the early days of Islam. So the, the surahs are from the early days of Islam, but the tartib, the, the chapter is at the end. It's as if it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's as if yani, the, the sign is that, it is, that the summary of the teachings of the Quran can be found in this juz uh, of Quran. The first surah is Amma Yatasa'alun or Surah al Naba, and the last surah is Surah al Nas. It's except for two surahs, Al Bayina and Al Asr. All the surahs, as we said, are uh, Makkiyya, means they were revealed in Mecca. The other, those two surahs were revealed in Medina. And this chapter has very special characteristics is that the first verses of Quran from Surah Iqra Bismi Rabbika Alladhi Khalaq are from Juz Amma. So when Prophet Sallallahu was in the cave and Sayyidina Jibreel came and hugged him and he said read Iqra. So the first verses of Quran and the first Surah is Iqra Bismi Rabbika is, is in Juz Amma. And according to many scholars there's difference of opinion but majority of scholars that also, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ سُورَةَ النَّصْرِ That that is the last verses of Qur'an were revealed from that surah. So one can say that in Juz Amma, the beginning of the Qur'an and the ending of Qur'an uh, literally can be found. And also it has some of the greatest surahs and verses of Qur'an. It has Surah Al-Ikhlas. And we all know that reciting Surah Al-Ikhlas three times is equal to the reward of reciting the entire Qur'an. So one Surah Al-Ikhlas is equal to a third of the Quran. It also has Surah Al-Kafirun, Ya Ayyuhal Al-Kafirun, and that is Ta'dil Ruba' Al-Quran, that reciting Surah Al-Kafirun equals the word of quarter of the Quran. And it also has the Mu'awwidatan, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbi Al-Khalaq, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbi Al-Nas. It is what we use in this nation to protect ourselves from seen and unseen enemies. Uh, very powerful surahs. One thing to note is that a lot of the surahs were revealed consecutively. So, like Surah Shams, was revealed after Surah Al-Qadr and Surah Al-Qadr was revealed after Surah Abasa so the, some of them were revealed around the same time now many topics are discussed in Juz Amma mostly to do with Akhirah about the creation of a human being about the signs in creation the creation of a plant life, animal life Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala gives us scenes of Judgment Day the horrors of that day, the hisab, Allah judging, heaven, hell, punishment, reward. Also the talking about resurrection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us some powerful imagery in Juz Amma to, to warn us against uh, being heedless and disobedient. And it has also advice to for one to struggle against our ego, to make tazkiyah. أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا قَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mainly warning against denying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's belief in Allah and denying these signs. Even now Muslims, uh, unfortunately, we live at a time, they say that there, these, these are not literal, there's no heaven or there's no hell and there's judgment day, there's, these are metaphoric, there's no reality. They deny even punishment in the grave. So in, in this juz, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clearly telling us beware of denying the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and denying akhirah. So inshallah, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad hatta yarda Sayyidina Muhammad. Uh, we can start with some of the tafsir from juz amma 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم The juz starts with عما يتساءلون or سورة النبأ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exclaiming he's saying عما يتساءلون exclamation but it's called inkari means he's not asking a question like asking what are they talking what are these people discussing because at the time of Prophet sallallahu when he brought down the message in the early days of Islam the uh, fake news of <laughs> or news of Quraysh and Mecca, they would sit and belittle the Prophet and talk about the what he's talking about and how he's saying that we're going to die and be resurrected and we're going to be judged. And so that was the talk of of the town. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, what are these people saying? How could they deny Naba means the news? Naba is 100% certainty of uh, that it will happen. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls it a naba, it means that will happen. About, about the news you have delivered to them, that they will be facing judgment day, that they will be facing akhirah, is this what they are sitting and talking about? Allah says, kalla sayalamun, thumma kalla sayalamun. It's like a warning. Mughallad, yani. Kalla, no, I will show them. No, I will show them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will, they will know. They will see, but not as a promise, as a warning that if they continue denying, they will see and taste what, what will happen. And then the surah goes on to speak about Alam Najali al Mihada. Allah is talking about the signs and favors that He uh, created for us to be in this, in this world. He says, Didn't I make this uh, earth? as a bed, mahd, easy for you to move and find your sustenance. Waljibala awtada, the mountains as pegs. It is said now that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called them pegs to when you stabilize something. Why uh, this is a miracle? Because today they find out that the mountains, the, the mass of the mountain is more underground than above ground. And these uh, mountains without them the earth will be spinning uncontrollably. So they are necessary for us to be nicely spinning within 24 hours. وَخَلَقْنَاكُمْ azwaja, And we have created them in pairs. We have created them as men and women, male and female, so that they can increase and propagate. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ azwaja. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some of, one of his signs <coughs> is that he created from you, from your nafs, a pair, لتسكنوا إليها so that you uh, can find tranquility and peace with your zawj. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a favor of him that he created us in pairs. Something that people today want to change. They say, no, 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 that's, nature does, did not dictate that, nor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything goes. وَجَعَلْنَا نَوْمَكُمْ سُبَاتًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is another favor is that he granted us night time to rest. Imagine if we have 24 hours, no ability to sleep. Sleep is, now, you know, people can lose their minds after two, three days of no sleep, they start to hallucinate. So it is a ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created night time for us to, to rest. وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ libasa, And he made uh, night time a time for rest and relaxation. وَجَعَلْنَا النَّهَارَ مَعَاشًا and we have made for you the daytime. The sun lights your day, and you can go out in the world and look for your sustenance. Uh, we made that a way for you to find your sustenance. And above you, we have built seven strong, meaning seven heavens, in their vastness, loftiness, perfection, precision, adornment, with both stable and stars. وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَهَاجًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those heavens He made a shining lamp That's, that is in reference to the sun. وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِرَاتِ مَا أَنْثَجَّاجَ And here Mu'asirat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we brought forth from the Mu'asirat the uh, clouds we poured Thajjaj means when something pours out we poured rain and water from the Mu'asirat. All these are favors Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
without which we are not able to survive. Or so, for us, our gratitude when we hear this, these signs is to say, Ya Rabbi Shukr, like Alhamdu Ya Allah. Ma an thajjaja. Time and with with that water that Allah brings forth and the earth that Allah makes like a bed and the sun that Allah puts in the sky. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala brings forth all this greenery, all the plants, the trees. Huh? Habban means the grains, nabat means vegetation, jannat means gardens and groves and fruits, jannatin alfafa means all kinds of gardens. Hey Allah, we'll stop here tonight as uh, the first of the translation. We'll continue inshallah in the yawm al-khusli kana miqata. Thank you all who join us. Barakallah fikum. Jazakumullah khairan. Keep us in your dua. Uh, pray for yourself, your family, your loved ones. Pray for, pray for the people of Palestine and Gaza. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take away their difficulty. And uh, pray for us. Inshallah we pray for you. And we'll see you tomorrow inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Anyone who says assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum.